everybody, Black Ninja 797 here, and welcome back to another video. In today's video, we're going to be talking more about Back for Blood, and we're going to be talking about how you guys can get access to the Back for Blood open beta. Now, you may be thinking to yourself, John, okay, well, why are you making a video about how to get access to a open beta when it literally is open to the public? Wouldn't that make more sense if it was closed? Well, yes, my friend, that's a fair question, and I am very happy that you happen to ask. Now, the reason why I'm making this video is because the Back for Blood beta is not exactly truly going to be just a flat out easy peasy lemon squeezy process, although it can be if you at least know what you're doing. So I am here to make a quick little guide to show you guys all the different methods because there is more than one on how you guys can install and be able to play the Back for Blood beta. If you guys end up enjoying this video and it does help you out, please definitely consider dropping a like comment subscribe and all the beautiful stuff because when you like the video it will recommend it and that way if there's anyone that needs help with this type of situation then this video will pop up first so thank you and shout out to the meme lords that do so but anyways guys let's begin with today's video alrighty guys so the way that this video is going to work I'm just gonna be going straight to the Twitter for the back for blood game and the back for blood Twitter account has one of these posts recently or a couple hours ago and it reads as so we have received some intel from a trusted source early access code redemption details in the thread below so if you click this this is going to be a quoted tweet and this is going to end up redirecting you to rose ty or in this case burnt toast underscore y uh sorry ty now i thought i was gonna say yt i'm used to the ttv thing from youtube and twitch <laughs> But uh, yeah, basically this is another Back for Blood team member and it's going to read as follows. Hi cleaners, check out this thread on the latest information about Back for Blood's early access open beta, which is going to be from August 5th to August 9th, Code Redemption. Hope this helps and see you in Fort Hope when these servers go live at noon Pacific Standard Time on Thursday, August the 5th. And then we got a little gift here of Michael from the office. All right, so now if we scroll down to her tweet, where she has a couple of other ones, there's going to be four different total ways on how you guys can get your guys' copy of the beta. There's the digital pre-orders, there's the retail pre-orders, there's the alpha test cleaners, which I'll explain that later, and then the website sign-uppers, or sign-up guys, which I will also explain later, because those will be the two last ones. These are probably going to be the most two common ones, which is going to be retail and digital pre-orders. If you guys pre-ordered your game digitally from the Steam, Epic, Xbox, or PlayStation stores, this is what you need to do, and this is how the tweet reads. If you pre-order directly from PC slash console stores, your access to the early access period will be granted directly to your game library via entitlement. You do not need to create a WB Games account, or in this case, Warner Bros. account, you do not need a code for the early access open beta. So if you're wondering basically what this means is that you guys would be doing what I would be doing, which is how I got my method of getting access to the beta, technically two, because it's two methods uh, put together. What you would do basically is you just pre-order the game, and if you pre-order Back for Blood, you will have the beta option just appearing in your Steam account library. Uh, at least that's what happened for me. I pre-ordered the game and then when I next went to Steam, it was just there. It was back for blood for my pre-order, like, you know, just hovering over there, just waiting. And then directly underneath of it was a beta option. So if you guys go to your library and you just go to the beta, you can then uh, therefore click install and you'll get a whole entire separate uh, application to launch the thing and all that stuff. And you guys will be able to get it easy peasy. So that is going to be one of the methods. Now we can move on to option two. Now, for physical pre-orders, or in this case, retail pre-orders, which is going to be from companies like Amazon, GameStop, Best Buy, and etc., this is what you would need to do. If you pre-ordered in person, you will receive a platform-specific code on your receipt for the platform you pre-ordered. If you did not receive a printed receipt, the code is not printed on your receipt, or you pre-ordered through the retailer's online storefront, you will receive an email for a code specific to the platform you pre-ordered. If you do not receive a platform specific code 
by August 5th, please contact the retailer you pre-ordered from. You do not need to create a Warner Bros. Games account. Please redeem your platform code on your retrospective platform by or on August 5th. So what does this mean? Well, basically this means that if you by any way got a console or a digital, uh, well, technically not digital, it'd be a, I got, it's weird because I, I can't imagine a PC disc game anymore, but uh, yes, they do still make get disc games for PC. But basically what it is is that uh, console or not, if you guys get a physical copy of Back for Blood, instead of getting it via a digital way, you would get more rather a physical way. Uh, your receipts, which uh, hopefully you guys don't get rid of, if you guys have your receipts still, on your receipt there is going to be the access code right there on the receipt. And that is platform specific, so if you order a Xbox copy, you redeem it on your Xbox. If there's a PlayStation copy, you redeem it on your PlayStation. Same thing even if it's a PC. If you literally get a physical edition of the PC, you would still do the exact same thing. Now, you also at the same time can get a email if you guys do not happen to have it, but however though, I would not rely on email 100% because if you guys are going to be going the physical route, you might as well commit to it and not actually try to rely on the email, I would say, even though it would be a good alternative backup and maybe be a great addition to the receipt, but I would primarily be focusing on the receipt. I would figure that it would be pretty obvious where it is on the receipt, but because I did not do this method of pre-order, I do not know where it is or how it is, but in the past I have done this before, and usually these codes for the pre-orders are quite uh, easily available to you to be able to see, and that way you guys can install. Now it also, by the way, says you do not need to make a Warner Bros. Games account. You would just simply use your platform account, like your Microsoft account or your Sony account, etc., etc. Now this is for the alpha test players. Now if you guys don't know what I'm referring to when I say this, there's actually a bonus if you played the Back for Blood Alpha back in December of last year. If you played the Back for Blood Alpha back in December of last year, you actually get to participate in the beta early. You do not have to worry about having uh, a pre-order installed and you also do not have to worry about having any other specific means. You just simply can be able to play the beta just like how you'd be able to play the alpha. So this is for alpha test players. If you participated in the December closed alpha test and want to participate in the beta on PC, you do not need a new code. Steam will update on August 5th and you are locked into playing the early access period on PC through Steam. However, you may play the open access period, which would be August 12th through 16th on any platform by directly downloading from the digital store page. If you wish to change your platform, you will need a new code. At this time, to obtain a code to play on console, Xbox, slash PlayStation, you will need a new Warner Bros. Games account obtainable through Twitch drops or pre-order a console copy of Back for Blood. If you uninstalled and uh, completely remove the game from your Steam library, please contact Warner Bros. Games support through the Warner Bros. Games account you created to redeem your alpha code for assistance. Now, this is probably gonna be the most complicated one out of all the methods because you are relying on luck uh, or either at the same time, you're not only relying on luck, but you're also relying on the fact that you uh, were kind of doing something like a long-term gain type of thing where you knew that, hey, I was going to probably going to need this some other time in the future. So you kept your uh, alpha installation of Back for Blood on your computer. And then seven months later, it came to be lucky for you where you would need it again. Because I believe what happens is that the alpha just becomes the beta. I've seen this happen before with like things such as Call of Duty, where they just reuse the same exact application and they just update it. So what happened was that I don't see my alpha uh, little launcher anymore in my Steam library. I just see the beta one now. That kind of goes back to what I was talking about earlier, where I was going to be like, hey, I pre-ordered, but I also did play the alpha. So I think that it just switched. But yeah, let's, let's talk about all these different scenarios. So at the beginning, it says if you participated in the alpha, which was PC specific, by the way, there was no uh, console version of the alpha and it was only through Steam. Basically what you would do is that you would just simply be able to be able to participate in the beta, just like you did with the alpha. You would just basically reinstall your exact launcher, I believe. Now, if you want to be able to play it on a different platform, which would be, I think, a little bit silly if you had your PC version, unless it would be like maybe a laptop and you want to play it on your, your like Xbox Series X or S or something like that. 
I don't know why you would necessarily go from PC to console, but that's just me. Uh, if you want to be able to go to a different platform, such as going to console, you'll need to definitely get a new access code. Plus, you also need to, at this point, then make a Warner Bros. Games account, it looks like, because you're going to be having it not linked. Uh, as far as I'm aware, you can't have a Warner Bros. account quite uh, easily linked to a lot of your social media, such as your Xbox or your Sony account. So to be able to recognize you, it's going to either need to be updated in the future or you're just going to need to just temporarily bite the bullet and make it where you have it linked to a brand new account. So what my recommendation is, is that if you have a Steam account still and you still have to have your PC or your laptop, just play the beta because it's temporary. You know, you don't have to worry about keeping it forever. Just play it temporarily once again on your PC for the sake of simplicity. Otherwise, you're going to have to go to Warner Bros and actually make another account and then therefore get a, another code, by the way, because you're not going to get it for free because the original alpha was only on PC anyways through Steam. So if you want it to be on your console, then you are going to need a pre-order to get a access code or to be able to just to pre-order just to get it in general. So this is the most complicated method, but the easiest way you can do this is just continue to still play on Steam on PC and just use the exact same account and then just re-download the alpha launcher and you will get the beta launcher. Now this one is going to be the one that I feel like even though, yes, this is not exactly going to be the most common, it is definitely going to be one of the most certain commons because this one is going to be the cheapest route. It's once again going to be the free route. But however though, this is going to be the uh, more of ease route because you're starting from scratch. So this is going to be for the Back for Blood website signups. If you registered on the website for a chance to participate in the early access open beta and you were selected to participate, please check your spam slash promotions folder on August 5th for an email containing your Warner Bros. Games code. Log into your Warner Bros. Games account and redeem your code in the account settings and you'll be prompted to select your region and read through the beta agreement. Once you have acknowledged the beta agreement, you may select your platform and receive your platform specific early access key. Redeem the key on the platform you selected on day one of early access, August the 5th. So what this basically is that you're asking uh, Back for Blood, or in this case, Warner Bros, to be able to play the beta. You're not exactly going to be having a issue being able to get into the beta because the beta once again is open, is available to everyone on all platforms. It's not like it was back in the alpha where it's only a certain number of people. So regardless of whether or not that you still have to ask and hope you get a key, I am almost pretty sure that they'll be very kind and generous and they'll just be able to generate a key for you. It's not like they're going to be stingy about it and saying like, oh, well, you join late, Mr. Blah, blah, blah. I can't give you an access key. You could probably be able to do it. I'm predicting about the, the day of last minute or maybe even hell a couple of days late. You could do it like on the next day, on the second day and be like, hey, uh, you know, you know, back for blood team or Warner Bros. Please give me an access key. I just now got off of work. Then they probably won't mind and they'll probably be able to give that to you. So you are at the mercy of the Back for Blood team, and you are at the mercy of Warner Bros. But however, though, this method seems pretty easy overall. I got my alpha key very quickly, and it wasn't actually that bad to set up a Warner Bros. account. So what I would recommend is just taking care of that stuff early. So whatever is the earliest possible time that you can get all this stuff taken care of, please do so so that when you go straight to the beta, you don't have to worry about signing up via an account and waiting for things. So this is basically what you need to do. If you registered on their website, which by the way, I also linked down below in the description just so that way you guys have access to it later in case you need to be able to do any of these things. You basically make a Warner Bros. Games account and then you therefore, once you've redeemed all your stuff, you need to be able to redeem the code specifically to the console you want. Now, the coolness is that with this one, you can still pick the specific platform. The only one that was restricted to PC was the alpha test guys. But this one, you can pick what you want. So you go to warnerbros.com, basically. You make the account, you register and all that stuff. You ask for the key. And then when you get the key for the specific platform you want, you just redeem it on the platform that's meant for. And then you'll be able to have a beta application. And then you can launch it when it's ready for August the 5th. Now, it looks like all of these are available for August the 5th, which is cool. But if you guys just want to wait until later on, 
on August the 12th because that is going to be the second weekend for the beta. I'm pretty sure it's going to be a lot easier than this. This is just for all the people that want to get access the very first day. Once it's going to be August the 12th or August the 16th, I am almost positive every single platform store is just going to have it available to you if you just type it in and look it up. But yeah, guys, that is basically going to be it here for today's video. I know that this could have been a lot shorter than actually it needed to be, and I understand that I was just basically breaking down Twitter. But however though, some people may or may not still understand, and I just want to make the video just in case, and I do hope it did help. If it did help, please consider dropping a like, so that way it recommends the video, and if anyone else needs help, it also recommends it to them, and keeps going on, so on, and so on. But yeah guys, I hope you end up enjoying today's video. If you guys want to financially support the channel, definitely please, as always, feel free to check out my Patreon, a link down below in the description, and use the uh, supporter creator code BLACKNINJA797 in all caps in the Fortnite and Epic Games item shops, because that's very much appreciated, and this video is sponsored by Epic Games, so shout out to you, Epic. But uh, yeah guys, I hope you end up enjoying another YouTube video for the most unique YouTuber you guys are ever going to see. Thank you for watching, guys, and peace out.